This is the story of a planet called Pluto. Reclassified as dwarf planet is the astronomer's new motto. It seemed it used to be the apple of uh, the scientist's eye, but 90 years since its discovery, all the academics said bye. So how does this story start, and where does it end? For, to answer that, we must go back thousands of years, my friend. There was a time that humans thought Earth at the center. I know it's crazy to think we would all be dissenters. But it's true, in fact, although I'm not a fan of it, Earth was not even considered as one of the planets. The original planets were Mercury and Venus, Jupiter and Mars, Saturn, the Sun, the Moon, that's bizarre. But these were the seven things that moved through our sky. At the time, it made sense. Nothing seemed awry. But sharper minds prevailed, and the list was shuffled. Earth was added, the moon and sun were taken off, that ruffled some, that, some feathers that ruffled. But while the planets were different, the list now remade. For the moon and the sun, this was not a downgrade. The moon became a moon, and the sun a star. We were learning how things fit together, how things are. The planets now numbered six, and it was common knowledge that the moon orbited us, and us the sun. Who needs college? <laughs> Fast forward to the 1780s, when Uranus was found. The seventh planet was discovered. It was an incredible sound. And then in 1801, an eighth planet was discovered. You know its name. What's it called? Neptune. Wrong. What a shame. <laughs> No, the eighth planet was Ceres, between Mars and Jupiter. Astronomers were delighted for this pint-sized newcomer. A, a year later, a ninth planet was found. Do you dare guess its title? You do, it's not Pluto, you probably don't know it, but its existence is vital. This ninth planet, named Pallas, was at the same distance as Ceres, between Mars and Jupiter, that made astronomers wary. And more scientists watched and more planets were found, 10, 11, 12 between Mars and Jupiter. It was becoming obscene. But by the mid-1800s, astronomers were tired. What to do with all these planets they acquired? They can't all be planets, they share the same orbit. We need a new category, but what to call it? The objects between Mars and Jupiter were reclassified from planets to asteroids. A belt had been identified. Yes, this again was no downgrade. In fact, um, it was no downgrade, no demotion, not fired. In fact, the new asteroid belt was actually quite inspired. So it was back to seven planets, but not for long, because in 1846, another eighth planet came along. Yes, this time it's Neptune. It was at the edge of the unknown, and it would be the furthest object until our technology had grown. Eight planets was our system, and a belt too. What else could be out there? Not many knew, but some ventured to guess, perhaps there was more. Out beyond Neptune, finding them would be a chore. A young scientist named Tomba, he took up the task to look for more objects. He probably needed a flask. <laughs> um, and, but in 1930, he succeeded. He spotted a faint object, and little did he know how much it would affect. We called it Pluto, the ninth planet. We celebrated. Our, knowledge, our understanding was growing, our knowledge inflated. And for nearly 60 years, this was our system. Nine planets and a belt. We all learned to list them. But as you imagine, it did not stay this way for long. I've yet to get to the point where it all went wrong. History started to repeat itself. <clears throat> New objects we were finding, and this does tend to occur, so you can imagine where they were. Out beyond Neptune, yes, but not much further. They shared the same orbit as Pluto. That's a bother. But they were small, comet-like, much smaller than planets. <clears throat> we can let these ones slide. It can't hurt, can it? But then Eris was found. It shared, it shared Pluto's size. It shared Pluto's, Pluto's orbit, more or less. And you know what that implies. Either both of them are planets, or neither are. So in 2006, scientists created a new bar. Pluto was reclassified and the Kuiper Belt um, was, and, the, and created the Kuiper Belt. And we mourned the loss of our ninth planet and it was heartfelt. But again, this was no demotion, no, uh, no downgrade, not firing. We were presented new data. The solar system needed rewiring. Pluto is part of the Kuiper Belt, out beyond Neptune. And likely beyond that belt is more that we will see soon. 
A second category was made um, at the same time, the category of dwarf planet. But with what does that rhyme? <laughs> there are five dwarf planets, Pluto, Eris, and Ceres, Haumea, Maki Maki, and probably more in theory. I guess the point of this poem um, for you, uh, if, if you take nothing else, is that definitions must change when you find solar system belts. Thank you. <laughs>